So we're out the road here quite a bit uh, where it takes us out to hole in the wall. And uh, we've come across this area and Claudia made a comment that it could be true. Maybe they meant to say holes in the wall because there's that whole mountain range right there. That's a hole H or W H O L E. It's full of holes, H O L E S. So I'll zoom in on them. If I can hold the camera steady enough. So it looks like just a whole bunch of holes in the in the terrain there. But he also mentioned that there was a, a gang called Hole in the Wall. Maybe we're coming into their hiding spot. I don't know how many miles we've traveled up this canyon here, but quite a few. We were... Um, interested in these bushes if you look closely at them they've got kind of like pine needle type leaves to them we're going to try and research that when we get some kind of a internet connection See, now right there, it look, just looks like somebody took some uh, mud or some wet clay and just kind of started putting it on there like plaster. We've been traveling up this road, like I say, and we've been doing about six miles an hour. And I should have looked to see how much time we have spent already coming up here because it supposedly dead ends at the six mile mark and we've come across several people we're quite surprised actually several people that are just parked off to the side of this road camping and we know how rough this road is and just imagine how it's pounding their campers as they're coming up but again it's free they don't have to pay anything they do have to get to water, which is not very far away, actually. There's that creek just at the beginning of this road, actually. So they can go down there and scoop up some water. I saw one couple. They had uh, kind of a, a uh, water container. They're letting some water out as they're washing their dishes. We're going to go further up now. We found life out here. Another camper on his way out. First one we've actually seen on the road today. A license plate 8F70761, California, Mercedes. I always like to do that, make kind of a notation. You never know if the guy turns around and does something. You know, you're out here with nobody else around. You really don't know what to expect. And we're not packing a gun. So it's not like we could be ready. Okay, it looks like we're headed towards that mountain up there. Okay, so take a look up there. Look how the waves are on that on that hillside. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You know, this back to finding the beauty in where you're at.
Okay. Head it up. Okay, so I just tried to video this and I don't know that it took, so here we are again. And looking at that geological area there, you can see the the twists, the waves, and that formation there. That's so cool. That's so cool. And and that's finding the beauty. That's finding the beauty in where you're at. We're going to be going up that road some more and trying to find the beauty. You know, just even look right there. Look, there's holes on the hillside. Finding the beauty. I'm going to take you back to these waves. There's another spot of them, you know, right there. Coming back around again. Okay, back to driving. So we're looking at the ground here, how at one point it had been shoved up. And you can see the different layers that had laid down through eons. Looking across there, you can just see how it's shot right straight up. And you get a, you get a layer of white. That's cool, that's cool. I want to walk over there. Okay, so here's that layer of white strata. And it, it looks flaky, looks grainy. You kind of see it right there. Just kind of crumbles off. And we've got some over here as well. And she was over there taking my picture, so I had to pose. Oh my gosh, look at this. I just turned around and just now saw that. Oh my. I it's just, how awesome. Yeah, you know, I referred to God in, in all of this because he created all of this and it's just amazing how awesome is his name and his creation and his his thinking to do all of this and, it, and it's even greater than that because he didn't gather some dirt and make this he made the dirt to make this he made everything from absolute nothingness okay up the road we go So there's a tent there, a couple tents. Well, a tent in the sunshade. Could be the guy that just drove out with the white van. That could be his spot. We're still on this six mile road and I have a feeling it's not a six mile road. Kind of like the four mile road we did yesterday. It turned out to be a 40 mile road. Well, we're stopping here because actually this is the first cactus we've seen out here. Here's a little one for you. And we've got a nice bright red bush over there. We're going to see what kind of a cactus that is. A rose color. Called Desert Rose. Ah. Called Desert Rose, she says.
So this road continues up this direction somewhere. So we're going to keep going up. It's gotten pretty rough, and so now we're down to about three miles an hour. And from what we've read, this is the area where you might possibly see bighorn sheep. We did bring our binoculars today. And of course, we're in the national park, so it's illegal to hunt anything. And, and as I said before, we're not packing weapons anyway, but it'd be a shame to, to shoot one of these animals because I do believe there are not very many of them. And, uh, you know, be like AOC. Why doesn't everybody just get their meat from the grocery store like everybody else? Yeah. Okay. We're going to venture on. Another view as we're going along. We have to stop every once in a while because we find something interesting to take a picture of. In this case, it's a nether type of cactus. There's one right there. But here's the other type of cactus here. Anybody watching the video, you know, certainly feel free to make a comment as to what type this might be or any of the others. To continue going up this road again we're down to about two to three miles an hour uh, this little section here is not too bad but what we just came through was just everything we went over was like a boulder okay here we go honestly this is not a six mile road it's definitely not a six-mile road. It's much longer. This almost looks like, you know, they were mining, strip mining, and just cutting back and forth. But that's they, they weren't. That's just the way it is. It's naturally there. And... You can see how the, the land has been moved up. Look over there, it's really pushed up there. Yeah, so cool. On we go. Going along an area here where the shale, I suppose that's probably shale, just looks like it's ready to slide down. Just thought it was pretty cool. We saw from a distance it looked like splintered wood on the hillside. And you can see where some of it has fallen down along the base here. Okay, we're going to continue on. So we made it to the uh, end of the road. They've just got a little lineup of rocks along here. Just to let you know that's the end. <coughs> Um, but it appears the road does turn here, and it looks like it actually turns into a walking path. So we're going to walk out there and see what we can see over there. In the meantime, give you this view. And honestly, I think they could have carried this road further up the wash here. But this is still a good distance out. We're going to try... And remember to calculate the mileage going back when we do go back and see uh, how many miles this actually is. Okay, we're going to do the walk. <laughs> 